Frank's script was just beyond amazing. And how was the, the person who had to shepherd it to the screen, working with Suri? Um, how was he, I mean, it, it's an amazing script, but it doesn't get where it's got without the person who is driving that ship. What was he like as, as your captain, so to speak? Okay. Um, Suri was, was fantastic. It's, the, the, thing, the wonderful thing about the film, I think, from day one, is that everyone who got involved with production was all really on the same page. Our creative team, the producing team, um, really were, were in agreement on, on everything about how we wanted to move forward with this film. Suri came on to that and was hired because of that, because he, as well, was on the same page with doing what we were doing. Um, I prefer a director who has basically been hired because they're the right person, and you know they're the right person when they sort of step back mm -hmm. and, and let the film happen. Mm -hmm. um, that's oversimplifying it. You, you have to have to step back in the right way. Yeah, really, um, yeah. I, I think the way, you know, the beautiful, the beautiful way with which he photographed, you know, the scene, set up, set up the blocking. Um, he just, he was in our heads. You know, he he knew from top to bottom what was going on and didn't get in the way of anything happening, even if it wasn't something that he thought prior maybe direction he wanted the scene to go. Um, it was just, it was a joy. You know, and it could it could have been, it could have not been. You know, it's it's in the situations where you have. You know, a lower budget film, independent film. Um, if somebody comes in with a, with a very strong, different vision than everyone else has, you don't really have time to sort that out, and what what results is is sort of horrifying. Yeah. But Surya, I think, also is so extremely intelligent. Yes. He had oh, such yeah. a a cool way of telling such a sick, fucked up story. <laughs> you know, I mean, he told it very humanly, and that's. That's hard. Not that there aren't too many movies that that can do that. I think that's a big part of the beauty of it too. And I think that the you know the, the violence in this film, um, it's interesting because it's not it's not shot gratuitously. Mm -hmm. But there's there's some major major violence that is captured on film. Um, and there, there's nothing that's glorifying about it. You know, it's very, uh, it's horrifying. And it is meant to be horrifying because this man, when he snaps, is horrifying. And I, I, I just think he, he did such a great job capturing that. Yeah, absolutely. And um, Melanie, you mentioned uh, how this film really spoke to you. I mean, it, you've done such incredible work for years now. What, is, what does the story have to say to you, or is it the director, or, I mean, what makes you say yes nowadays? Well, this with this, it was the script, mm. then the director, and then the fact that I would get to work with this amazing man. I had to I'm really, I'm really sort of offended that... <laughs> that yeah, I didn't sorry, say you first. first. <laughs> I just, it's all right. That you're Go third ahead. on the list. You guys talk amongst yourselves. It's all right. <laughs> but also that Betsy, that my character, there's a lot of lonely people. Yeah. And I think everyone is lonely, actually. And, you know, until you can love yourself and be okay with yourself. And I like that she's she kept fighting. She was still fighting to to make her life work, even though. She had every reason to sort of end it, you know? And then I loved the, the sort of juxtaposition of him coming into her life after she's gone through so much pain and mm -hmm. <laughs> is looking for love and it's almost there, just so close. And then to have it be so shockingly not right, I mean, you know that she probably went back to the bottle after that. After it's she just saw a huge that misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we could call it that. <laughs>